The Vikings were much more than blood-spattered berserkers who partied hard all over the world. This fierce group of Scandinavian artisans, pirates, explorers, and traders did more in 300 years than most cultures do in 10,000. From the 9th to 11th centuries, Vikings managed to colonize Europe, the Carolingian Empire, and the Byzantine Empire, established societies in both Iceland and Greenland, voyaged to North Africa, the Middle East, and the Mediterranean, eventually even making it to North America. Vikings were much more than pillagers of villages with burning torches and torture devices. These advanced metalworkers, shipbuilders, and cartographers partied hard but worked even harder. The more we find out about these enterprising northerners, the more we realize how their travel routes, technology, art, and even their religious beliefs advance civilization. Here are the most mysterious archaeological Viking discoveries that have impacted culture even to this day. Viking Cannabis Farm Found in Southern Norway Did Vikings smoke or ingest cannabis? 50 years ago, archaeologists discovered a secluded Iron Age farm in Southern Norway, now known as Sosteli. Hundreds of samples of what was grown at this farm were stowed away at the National Museum of Denmark in Copenhagen until researchers decided to analyze the crops. To their surprise, they found that hemp was cultivated between 650 and 800 AD at the beginnings of the Viking Age. There was no evidence to suggest that the Vikings used cannabis as a drug, yet the suggestion that they did comes from an earlier find at the Osberg burial mound, where a pouch of seeds dating back to 400 AD was found on the remains of a 70-year-old woman. However, Vikings definitely used the super strong fibers of hemp to make strong rope, but odds are they smoked it too. Viking Trading Post Unearthed in Istanbul in 2014, while excavating Bathania, archaeologists were surprised to find a cross made from the rare substance ambergris. How did this precious substance found only in the ducts of sperm whales make it all the way from the Atlantic Ocean to the Middle East? The answer, of course, is Vikings, who speared the whale, gathered the ambergris, crafted the cross, traveled across the Aegean, and set up a market in Byzantine-era Istanbul. In 988 AD, Viking mercenaries were friendly enough with the Varangian guard of Emperor Basil II to join his army. The best known of the soldiers was Harald Hardrada, who would later become King of Norway. In the meantime, his future subjects sold the Persian runes, amber and massive iron battle axes, all found at the Bathania site until the 11th century AD. Viking anchors washed ashore in Seville in 2014, some strong local storm cast several ancient ship anchors on a beach near Seville, Spain. The simple two-pronged design of these metal works captured the interest of archaeologist Garcia Lasquino, who determined them to be of Viking origin. She then discovered a mound nearby that turned out to be an ancient Viking sea fort dating back to 840 BC. The discovery of this sea fort is significant because it was similar to the forts that the Vikings built to weather the strong winters in Iceland and there was never a structure found this far south. Both the anchors and this fort showed that the Vikings did indeed travel far and wide, even to southern Spain, to expand their trading routes. Magic Wand Found at Burial Site in Norway The magic wand found in Norway did not disclose its real purpose until decades later. In 1894, a curious curved metal rod was discovered in a 9th century female grave in Romsdal. The wrought iron hand had a metal blade and then extended three feet before crooking into a sharp hook. In 2013, British scholar Sue Branning asserted that it was not a spear, but a magic wand used to summon the spirits to help during a crisis. This ritual item was considered to be so powerful that when a witch died, the tip was bent and buried with her to deactivate its power. This find is significant as it was the first solid evidence that ritual witchcraft was indeed practiced by female Vikings as far back as 800 BC. Viking Ruins in Newfoundland In 1960, the discovery of Viking ruins at the northern tip of Newfoundland shocked historians, anthropologists, and archaeologists, as it was finally clear that Vikings from Greenland beat Christopher Columbus to the shores of America. In 2022, a team of researchers from the University of Groningen used a way of dating wood to find out exactly when Vikings arrived to build the coastal settlement of Lons Almeda, which means grasslands by the sea. 
Radioactive carbon dating revealed that wood from Viking structures was felled in AD 1021, which would also be their year of arrival. They also found out that the Vikings did not last more than a decade in the barren north and that they collected butternut squash and grapes from present-day New Brunswick. It is likely that Vikings abandoned the settlement and sailed back to Greenland, possibly because of the unforgiving weather and unruly landscape. The fact that the Vikings were one of the first to sail the Atlantic is truly one of their great pioneering accomplishments, as was their mastery of the metal forge and jewelry design. These discoveries also reveal that many of the societies they invaded cooperated with and even appreciated the skills, trade, and prosperity they brought with them. It is certain that more perfectly preserved Viking artifacts will be found as climate change melts additional ice. Norse chessmen discovered in Lewis, Scotland The Vikings probably felt right at home settling near the rocky coves of Hebrides, Scotland, as the icy landscape was similar to Scandinavia. Still, it seems that a skilled craftsman had been to the Far East to learn a thing or two about chess. In 1831, four chess sets carved from the ivory of walrus tusks were discovered in the Isle of Lewis, and of them all, only five pieces are missing. Of these elaborate pieces, 82 are now displayed in the British Museum in London and 11 in the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh. Chess was invented in 200 BC in China but the Viking ones were carved to lampoon Scottish personalities of the time. The missing pieces have popped up in markets now and then. One rook that was found at a garage sale for six bucks in 1964 sold at Sotheby's for 1.3 million in 2019. 40 Viking hunting blinds discovered in Norway. High in the mountains of Sandgrifskaret, reindeer leap from peak to peak till this very day and received the archer's arrow in the breast. Explorers from the Secrets of the Ice Team, a group that looks for artifacts in melting glaciers, found 40 hunting blinds high on this mountain in Norway. Viking hunting blinds were crescent-shaped rock walls about three feet tall. They concealed crouching Viking hunters from their prey, reindeer. In 2018, the Secrets of the Ice Team found perfectly preserved wooden scaring sticks that had been there 2,000 years. These were long poles with rattles on the end that were used to scare reindeer towards the blinds. The team also found iron flints and bows and arrows, proving that hunters had been losing things at the site for over 6,000 years, from the Stone Age up until the time of the plague. This makes it one of the oldest Viking sites still in use today. Viking Monument Found in Sherwood Forest the discovery of an ancient Viking monument in Nottinghamshire, England showed that Vikings might have been meeting in Sherwood Forest long before Robin Hood and his gang. The site known as Thingau sits high on a hill at the edge of the woods. The large circular settlement was the gathering site for the General Assembly of the Icelandic Commonwealth. For two weeks every June, it was the site of the world's best party, attended by Nordic delegates from near and afar. Thingau, nicknamed The Thing, sits at the top of a hill, embraced by a stone wall with a semicircle of stone seats within. At the base of it, the river circles it like a moat. The site, which was stumbled on by a couple taking a walk in 2017, is considered to be the oldest parliament in the world and is remarkable for being in pristine condition. A Hoard of Treasures in Galloway the Galloway Hoard was discovered in the British Isles in 2014 by a man with a metal detector. It is a dazzling cache of precious gold, silver, and crystal keepsakes wrapped in an ironstone cream jar with a lid. This collection of adornments from 900 AD shows us just how skilled the Vikings were at metallurgy and included brooches, ingots, glass beads, a Christian cross, and a silver chalice. However, it was not until 2017 at the National Museum in Scotland that conservators restored a rare jar carved from crystal and braided with cords of gold. This sophisticated object with a Latin inscription on the base was commissioned by a bishop, revealing that even the church recognized the Vikings as fine artisans. However, who stole the items and hid them away is still a mystery. Four Young Viking Raiders Found in Dublin in 2003, excavations were underway to enable the expansion of a department store at Dublin's South Grey George Street, when archaeologists discovered the remains of four Vikings aged between their late teens and late twenties. This is not the first time that young Vikings had been found in Ireland, but these four were special because their presence indicated 
that Vikings may have settled in the Emerald Isle a century earlier than thought. It's generally agreed that there were countless raids by both the Norsemen and Danes in Ireland between 795 and 836, and that the first settlement was in 841 AD. However, these remains were dated all the way back to 670 AD beneath evidence of a raided Dublin monastery completely disrupting previous theories about the course of world history. So tell us, did you enjoy learning about the Vikings and their history? Thanks for watching Crunch History. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to learn more history on Crunch.